For those of you that have been following the channel for a little while, you guys know I'm not much of a gamer. I do game occasionally, and when I do, though, it's free and open source games mainly. And my favorite free and open source game of all time is Zero AD, which is a fantastic real-time strategy game. Uh, it is kind of challenging, especially if you're brand new to the game. That's one of the complaints a lot of people have about Zero AD is that when you're a noob, especially it's a multiplayer game for the most part, when you're playing against other people that have been playing the game for a while, it's it's very challenging. So today I'm going to have a little fun. Mainly this is just me having fun playing the game, but I'm also going to talk you through a little bit, hopefully educate, especially some of you guys that are kind of new to the game, how it should be played. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the game and I'm going to choose single player. I'm going to choose matches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play against seven AI opponents. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick the Persians as my civilization. There are about 13 or 14 civilizations to pick from, but the Persians are a good all around civilization for purposes of, uh, of this video because the Persians have a, a nice variety of troop types and siege weapons and things, things that I, I want to demonstrate in the video today and as far as my opponents uh, and the teams I'm not gonna do teams so it's gonna be a eight person free-for-all so no teams but seven of the opponents are AI opponents set to the very hard setting if I actually did teams and I did a 1v7 you know against the AI where the AI was actually a team working together it would be extremely difficult maybe I could beat them maybe I couldn't but the chances are they would beat me very fast and I don't want this video to be that short I actually want to get to some of the in game stuff so I'm not going to assign them to be on a team it'll be every man for himself the map will be Atlas Valleys it's an eight person map and this is nice for purposes of what I'm doing today because it's got the this mountain in the center which kind of prevents like all seven of the AIs to like cross the center of the map and just pick on me you know I because of that mountain being in the center I really would only have to worry about two opponents you know the ones directly to the side of me for the most part early in the game so that's what I'm gonna go with so let me go ahead and hit start game now right away you want to worry about food so right away I'm gonna double click on the women and send them to berries or chickens or whatever food is handy right away and I'm gonna double click the women and I'm just gonna go ahead and send them to that chicken I'm gonna click that calf unit I'm gonna send him out there to hunt all of that then I'm gonna grab all four of these guys and I'm just gonna go ahead and send them to wood I'm gonna go ahead and have one build a house just to make sure I've got room for population space here in a little bit I need to go ahead and queue up some more units. I'm going to use all my available wood here at the beginning to train three more calf units since there is hunt, right? We've got some sheep it looks like. It makes sense to go ahead and do some calf early. That way they can go ahead and get that that cheap food right there, right? So if you have a lot of hunt, it makes sense to do calf units early, train three calf units. If you don't have any hunt or on the map, you know, if it's kind of bare of hunt, then it makes sense just to train women. You, you can train up to six women at the beginning. You have that much food to do that. But I went with the calf units. Let me go ahead and get ready to train some more women here. As soon as the calf units pop out. No. The calf units need to go there. The women, when they come out, I'll send them to wood. I'm going to need some more wood very shortly. So the goal here, we needed a population space, so I went ahead and built that first house. But really, what I need is as soon as I can get a couple of houses built, I would like to get a barracks early because we're, we've are we got seven opponents. I really need a barracks to train more troops. And i got to remember to train women. One thing, when talking during a game, it's very easy to get distracted. And normally, I wouldn't forget to to keep training women like that, but I need to keep 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 training. That's one of the secrets to this game being a real-time strategy game is you should not have any downtime. Every building that can train should be training people. I do have some berries up here, so when these women finish with the chickens, I could send them to the berries, or I could just send this next batch of women to the berries. So I do have wood now. I could go ahead and build a uh, farmstead. So 
So I'll build that farmstead. Have these women also go build that farmstead. Go ahead and get a, another house started. Uh oh. Definitely do, do not want to hit that button. Now that I've got the farmstead up, I'm going to go ahead and take the berry upgrade. That first upgrade from the farmstead. It's a better gathering rate for the uh, women to gather berries. So if you've got berries, get that upgrade. That's an important upgrade. Obviously, if you're on a map that didn't have any berries or very few, then you'd skip that upgrade. Eventually, I need to get a storehouse built so I can get the wood chopping upgrade. That's really the next one I need to, to worry about here. I don't really need a storehouse necessarily for collecting wood, but I will need it for that upgrade. But for right now, because I'm facing so many AI opponents, let's go ahead and get a barracks built. I'm gonna send a lot of these guys to build that barracks rather quickly. So I need to start worrying about being attacked soon. I've got a feeling it's coming soon. Let me go ahead and get some women chopping wood down here. This is a nice area of the map. It's on the edge, so if I send women out here to chop wood, they're away from the action because I'm going to get attacked from this direction and from this direction because I've got at least two of my opponents, you know, to each side there. I've got to worry about people coming through the center of the map because it is possible. People will come through the center. These guys have cleaned up their hunt from over here, but there's still more hunt toward the top of the map. So let me get them, get those cab units back out collecting food for us, but I'm good on food. Let's go ahead and get the wood chopping upgrade. This is actually going pretty good for us. Mainly because we haven't been attacked. These guys are doing good. So I've got the four cab units, but I do need some more infantry units. Let's go ahead and spend some wood training four archers just to have some units ready. Uh, I need a... I need more wood though. I don't have enough wood. Let's see if I deposit all the wood here. Would I have enough for a house? Yes, I would. So now send them all to build the house. Yeah, I'm running low on wood. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of these women away from picking berries and have them chop wood instead. Because I really need more wood. And now the four archers that I had trained will come out soon. And I need to keep building houses though. It's getting to the point where I need at least a couple of folks dedicated to building houses. Let's have her build a house. And then after she's done, go back to chopping wood. I'm probably going to get attacked soon. It would be nice to have a tower somewhere uh, around as well. Just to help defend when the attack finally comes. Let's get a storehouse and then you guys chop that wood. Let's get these two archers out here and let's... Heck, let's just put that tower right there. And then you guys chop wood out there too. Let's go ahead and get a second barracks built. Now, all of these women are exposed here. If I get attacked from this guy, these women, I'm going to have to pull them back pretty quickly. I should probably send them back toward the back of the map, but if, once I get that barracks up, 
Well, you know what? I'll go ahead and train up five archers and I'll send those archers this way. So I've got some infantry over there for the attack when it comes. Let's go ahead and start worrying about farming. Because we're going to need some farms. Could go ahead and level up to the next phase. I'll go ahead and queue that up here in a second after this next bunch of women come out. I wouldn't mind another tower right here. Now that's kind of a little bit early of phasing up. Normally you want to phase up when you're about at a hundred pop which is usually around the nine minute mark, 10 minute mark. I'm doing it a little early just because, again, I'm facing so many opponents. I'm actually kind of surprised none of them have attacked me. We've gotten a little lucky on that. Let's go ahead and get a cav stable. So I'm gonna need some cavalry here in a little bit. Let's keep the uh, women coming. Now I'm starting to get a little light on food, so let's take some of the women and get them down here farming. There's no more hunt for the calf, so my four cavalry units really can't do much. I could send them to scout, but I know exactly where my opponents are on this map. It's a pretty easy map to figure out since everybody's in a circle and in the middle there's the big rocky area, the mountain area, which trying to claim the middle of the map is kind of an important thing. I should probably start thinking about how to expand to the middle of the map. Let's keep getting our farms. I need the farming upgrade, but I'm going to need metal for that, which I don't have any. I do need stone, so let's get these guys off of wood and get them on stone. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set the uh, Civic Center to a hotkey, hotkey 1. Then I'm going to double click the barracks. I'm going to do control 2 to set them to the 2 key. Let's do the stables on 3, so I can just hit 1 for Civic Center, 2 for the barracks, and 3 for the stable. Let's go ahead and get some spearmen queued up. really light on food now so what well I'm also light on houses too so let's get this group of women seven women building me some quick houses here and then you guys go to farm just to hurry up on population space let's get a house built really quickly there Got some women here not doing anything. Could go ahead and start building some farms around this farmstead here. I need a market now that I'm in phase two. Let's have these women build a market real quick since I don't need wood that much. I could use some more calf units. need two blacksmiths and then once I have a market and two blacksmiths built I can go to phase three now these trees are kind of in the way here for my farms let's get some women chopping these trees to get them out of the way I've got room for farms up here for now. Now that the market is built, let's sell some wood. Oh, we got folks coming. Let's get them. Let's garrison this tower. And then everybody else. I knew it was coming. All right, 
right, let's queue up some folks. That actually went pretty well. Oh, we got some women that are up in the middle of the battle. Losing a few folks here. That's not good. Let's make sure, though, we take the fight right here around the tower. That tower will be constantly shooting these guys. Alright, let me queue up ten more archers from my barracks. Now, all of this went pretty well. I'd like another stables, though, because we're going to need more cav units, I think. Alright. Let's get everybody back to to work, except the cab units. Uh, I lost my uh, storehouse. That's not good. Let's go ahead and get the upgrades, whatever upgrades I can afford. All right, you guys completed chopping the wood that was preventing me from building these fields. Let's queue up more women. I am going to need more houses. I've got a lot of women down here chopping wood. I can afford to send a couple of them to just do nothing but build houses. Hotkey all the stables. I need the upgrades for the stables. Alright, I need to get to phase three. One of the things facing this many opponents, I need to make sure that I get to phase three so I can get siege weapons and I can get to doing what I need to do. I'm going to buy a lot of the metal, because I don't have any metal mines, but the stone, I can send folks to stone. Now I also need wood, getting a little light on wood. Let's improve the efficiency of their wood chopping by getting them all grouped up in a better spot. Everything's going good over here. Definitely need more wood. You guys, same thing, build a storehouse closer to the wood line for efficiency. What am I? I am light on food. I need more farmers. And I need the farming upgrade. Oh, forgot to get that. So to get to phase three, I'm working on the stone because I've got plenty of guys on the stone, but the metal's going to be a problem. I need 174 metal. Let me get rid of some food for the metal. And a little bit of wood for some metal and stone just to speed things up. Uh, let me go ahead and speed it up even more. Go back to the market. And that should get me there. Yeah, let me get to phase three. Once I get to phase three, we should be good. Because then... I can get the siege weapons. Once I get siege weapons out, we're in a lot better shape. I can use more barracks. Only having two barracks is not ideal. And I do notice this yellow line here, this opponent over here is building into us. That is not good, so we've got to be ready for a fight here in just a second. Let me go ahead and queue some troops up and get them over here. Because this is going to be a big deal, I think. I think this is going to be the opponent that's going to cause me problems, because this guy, on this side, we've already set back a little bit. Go ahead and get all the blacksmith upgrades that I can afford right now. Barracks. As soon as I get this to phase three, 
uh, elephant stable. What I think I, I want to get first. So let's get you guys building an elephant stable. Let's get you guys building... Yeah, I've already got attacks going on over here. That's not good. And then I need to uh, build the building to get my hero. The Persians have a special building called the Throne Hall, I believe it's called, where the hero is trained. I need metal and stone to get that, which I'm not going to have. I have to trade wood for metal and stone. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and build the Throne Hall. I'll just build it right there. Go ahead. Can I train an elephant? Nope. I need metal for elephants. I've got to find metal mines, but as soon as I get one or two elephants out, we're good. So then I can take care of this guy. Mm. I'm going to need metal for this as well. Sell some food for some metal. Yeah. Let's see, can we train two rams? We can. As soon as those rams come out, let's... I'm going to need some houses. I'm going to take some women off food for a minute to go ahead and build that house. I've got my, uh, my calves. It's getting a little crazy there. But we see we, he's got a civic center there. We're going to have that ram. As soon as they come out, take out the civic center. All right, have some of the farming ladies build a couple of houses. When we got time. Keep training women. We've got three barracks now to train from. Let's. more archers out this way I think I'll split it up I'll have some of them come out this way get the women back though we don't need the women to be a part of this train up some calf spearmen No way I'm going to be able to capture it with just this few troops, but I'll just destroy it. Let's get our hero trained up. All right. Now we got rid of that annoying civic center, but I've got some issues because now I've got battles on two different fronts. Because this guy's coming this way. Yeah, he's starting to build into me. How about a fortress right there? I really need more wood. The wood situation's getting a little bad now. Got an elephant on the loose, which I didn't mind that. I kind of wanted that one elephant to wreak some havoc before my troops get over there. Uh, can I get some metal for another elephant or two? Well, I can only afford one more. But he is doing just fine there. Ooh, is there some metal over here? some wood. He's going to take at that tower there. Oh, there's some metal here. This is what I needed, finally. Got, got metal. What's, what's going on over here? I sent those rams off to 
do a lot of damage and they're doing fine. Let's keep sending some troops this way as well. I wonder if I could... Oh, he's trying to build a civic center there. I can't let... Can't let him do that. Food is a problem. More upgrades. No, more farms. That's what I need. I got women that are not farming. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a mess because I can't have them. I cannot have the Civic Center go up. Now I'm fighting two opponents. So I've got a couple of opponents over there. I might have to pull all these guys back over to the other side, which I hate to do. Uh, you know what? I am I'm gonna have to back up for a minute. I'm just going to have to get some wood. I need metal too to build a second civic center. If I can get a second civic center up, then that would be really nice. Oh, perfect. Right there. Well, this guy is not wanting to let me do that though. Everybody that can get over here, please. Elephants. Food is still a problem. Need metal for the upgrades to get the farming upgrade. Uh, what about weapons upgrades? Need the metal mining upgrade. Let's get more guys on that mine. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can take out this guy, because this guy here is going to be the problem. The guy on the, my right side is definitely going to be an issue. This, oh, it's going to be tight getting this uh, Civic Center up. Go ahead and get a ram to take out that, if we can. He is not wanting to let me get this <laughs> Civic Center up. And I'm so close. These guys. Uh -uh. Take that out. That's going to be close on both of these. This is going to be real close. Really light on wood. Trying to figure out which side of the battle I need to concentrate on this side because even if I lose all these folks trying to take this civic center, which I probably am, I don't think it's going to matter. I think he's going to lose it. No, he's not. He killed the elephants. All right. Let's get these guys to come back. Actually, I only have one guy, the hero. <laughs> all right. So let's get guys over here then. I got the ram over there. Got you guys. Got more metal to mine, except for you guys. Chop some wood if you can. Get you guys on stone. Let's get you guys on wood. 
Alright, up some more units. Can I forward another elephant? I can. Right, got some women that are not doing anything. Or can I send them that's safe? Probably around the civic center, because I can always garrison them in that civic center if I need need to do so. Get the next wood cutting, get the stone cutting upgrade. Get the next melee upgrades. Get guys chopping wood if they can. Get more calf spearmen if I can. Because he's going to have a hard time getting me off this spot now. Now that I took down his civic center. I lost my ram, so. And he's building a fortress here. That's not good. Still don't have wood. Just don't have enough economy here. Get that last upgrade there. Can I afford a ram? Nope. Need more wood. More wood. Let's train more women. Have them chopping wood now. When this ram comes out, go get that tower and then the fortress behind it. need more wood. I could trade for wood. I guess I could trade food for wood. And yeah, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and get some more barracks, stables. I'm gonna need more houses soon. This is gonna be tight. You guys have already run out of wood to chop. That's not good. Let's get you guys and the hero all together. 44 of you plus one elephant. I need more elephants. At least two. Can I train any more calf? Train eight more calf when you guys come out. We'll be ready to go get that civic center that I couldn't get last time. I think I lost all the women that were chopping wood over here earlier. Yeah, I lost that ram too. He's going to complete that fortress, which is going to really suck for me. Unless I do something about it right now. guys are being attacked or no they just got a little antsy but that's fine we were heading that way eventually anyway this is all women or is it no it's archers yeah I'm gonna lose everybody trying to take this fight get some of you guys in the uh, fortress to have it garrisoned. I am just light on wood. Part of the reason is not everybody's chopping. Anybody that can chop wood needs to be chopping wood. Let's get storehouses all over the place. Last metal mining upgrade. Get the last stone upgrade. Yeah, that fortress is up. That's not good. We've got this tower garrison, which I don't really need these guys garrison right now. I need to make a push here on this guy. Because he is the one that's going to cause me some issues here in a little bit.
بله مستقر خواهم شد میره یا Let's get a tower being built, or a temple being built here if we can. Get three rams out, and then we can make a push. Get ten more cav units, and then we're gonna make a push on both sides, I think. I think we're almost ready. Need a couple more houses. Should be enough houses to get me to the pop max. And now the temple. Let's hire a priest or two and get the first healing range upgrade. We've got three elephants. Let's go get let's go get it. And then as soon as these rams come out here in a second, we're going to go get this over here. Fifteen more archers queued up. Really, I just need this civic center to go away, and it really sets him back, and I'm not worried about this side as much anymore. This side is the one that's a problem, because... He is pushing me a little bit. He is pushing into my territory. Let's get all the stables queued up. The barracks, which I now have four. Four barracks, three stables. Let's get 15 more cab units queued up. Alright, can we take this? Or no, we have to destroy it. That's fine. Alright, my hero looks like he's close to death. You guys took out what you needed to take out, but you don't have much else going on for you. How about we put a civic center down right there? Catapult that's gonna annoy us here. All right, I think we're we're good. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and make a push on that civic center right there. Queue up some more cav units. Head that way. These guys. I don't know about. So one side I'm hitting with elephants, one side I'm hitting with rams. elephants to chase though because there'll be a civic center probably somewhere over there they're gonna run into some trouble with all right we took the civic center heck yeah and then we lost it because his ram destroyed his his old civic center which is not a problem i didn't really need that civic center but let's keep this little group of people it's 99 people uh plus four rams that's a nice little army that he's gonna have trouble stopping Let's let them just keep going, and whatever they run into, they run into. We need to start defending the center here, because we're getting pushed here. You see the line here? Let's go ahead and get an elephant stable up here to where I can get some elephants out quickly, heading that direction. guys have found over here. Oh, we still have a ram. It's and catapults. Uh, that's not good. 
that ram and the catapults took out my rams. All right, yellow has been defeated. So I actually took out the player that I was most worried about, which was uh, the yellow. All right. So now let's keep going. We need to try to take the center of the map if possible. I should have probably keep somebody here uh, garrisoned. Let me queue up three spearmen. I'm just going to have them garrison that for me just to make sure it's garrisoned. Get some elephants heading that way. Get 15 calves heading this way. Do I have enough to take this? It's going to be close, but I think I'll get it. All right, now that I've got this going, let's head on to the next part of the map. We're just going to keep these two armies going in each direction. So we took this. Let me go ahead and garrison that. And now that we take the center of the map, I'd really like a fortress right here next to this as well. Alright, why don't you guys take the tower then? You guys, though, I, do, I still want the fortress. Take that fortress right there. Build it right there. We took this tower. Let's garrison that tower. Let's take one more tower. See if we can garrison another tower. I really don't need this fortress. Or this uh, civic center garrison, I guess. Build the, uh, the fortress. Then I got that tower from him. I garrisoned. Alright. And now... I need some barracks that are a little closer, so let's build a couple of barracks. And then let's go ahead and build a couple of stables. And then a storehouse. Alright, so we've now had two opponents defeated because the light blue character is now out of the game. So this was this guy here. I guess he finally lost his last little bit. One thing I do not like is my hero is needs to heal a little bit. So I probably should build a tower somewhere, or a temple, not a tower. Build a temple right there, right next to that guy, my hero, just so the hero can heal. And this army here is just doing amazing. It was an army of 99 units, now it's down to 66 units, that's not good. Let's get some more units queued up. Let's back off a little bit. I don't want to lose everybody there. And I've got extra units here that I could send. Maybe I should build Yeah, I lost all those guys. I guess for whatever reason they could not get or they refused to get out of the way there. I'm actually just going to lead these guys on a Yeah, that battle went horribly wrong. That battle went extremely wrong. Let's get some elephants then. So the rams did not do well there. And once again, some barracks, some stables. Maybe an elephant stable a little closer. up 
some more there. One thing I didn't do, I didn't get all the uh, fighting upgrades. I need the armor upgrade, the next ranged upgrade, uh, the next melee upgrade. All of that should help. And let's get all of these folks somewhere chopping wood. About right here, that looks like a good wood line. I wish I, that army I threw away, I should have had them get rid of that. That's an elephant stable and that's the arsenal, the siege workshop. Alright, the center of the map. I kind of forgot about it for a little while. Let's have some of you guys get me some metal. Got six elephants. How about elephants I'm just going to send off to do elephant things. Just let them destroy stuff. I don't care if I lose them. I'll train more elephants later. All cab units can also run around a little bit. So I'll train more. See what's going on down here. Alright, all of that looks good. But without any kind of siege. can't do much. I've got five elephants coming out here in just a second that are going to head this way. That'll help. Can I train one ram? Or would it let me train two or three? It will not. They're just going to hang. Okay, well. That's fine. Well, I'm going to keep building some more barracks and stables then. Just to make sure I can reinforce this area, area here in a minute. I think, though, we're doing okay. My six elephants are now four elephants, but damn, did they do a good job. I'm going to keep sending them through here, even though they're all going to die. And I didn't get the uh, stable built that I wanted. I wanted another elephant stable. Probably because I built it a little too close. Alright, we've got the elephants now here. Want the elephants to go there. Want you guys to come back. Alright. About to have a, a big battle here. So let's go ahead and garrison the Pacific Center because why not? Let's get all these buildings producing something. Get more elephants coming out. Let's pull back so we're closer to the Civic Center. That way, these guys are taking fire from the Civic Center. That went pretty badly for him. I don't think he's going to be able to train another army that quickly. And I got out of that. Not great, but better than he did. Let's see if I got any more weapons upgrades. I got one more armor, one more range. That armor uh, and the archery upgrade, which I definitely need because I'm usually using mostly archers here for my uh, infantry units. For the cab units, I'm training mostly uh, spearmen. Kind of what I'm doing here. Hello? <laughs> 
فرمان شما حمله Let's go ahead and destroy his elephant stable and then his uh his siege workshop. I'll split up. Let the elephants destroy the elephant stable. I'll let the rams destroy the siege workshop. Once he isn't able to produce any more siege, I shouldn't have much issue with this guy. Get this ram taken care of. Have this one elephant kill the ram. Alright, pull my army back just a little bit to regroup for a second and then focus on that one elephant. More elephants queued up, four more elephants. Get more rams, four more rams also heading this way. What's going on in the center of the map? Four more elephants here. Just want to make sure that I'm not losing the center of the map while I'm away. don't want to focus so heavily on this guy that I end up losing the game on the other end. I'm being attacked by the gray player. Let me go ahead and send these guys to take that. They should take that fortress easily. I'm getting attacked where? Over here? Yes. See this? Which luckily... Luckily, I did have that uh, garrison this year but I should produce a few more troops and get them out because something is about to happen there I think matter of fact let me go ahead I had this garrison here let's send all of these guys over here because I'm gonna have to worry about this side of the map here in a second so let's get this the Civic Center. If I can take it, which I should be able to. Let me get all seven elephants off of the Civic Center before they destroy it, because I want to keep it. And I did. I got to keep it. Now let me garrison it. That should be the end of the orange player. Just leave these guys over here to clean up a little bit. Oh, I'm getting attacked by red. That's not good. Let's go ahead and garrison the fortress if we can. And the civic center a little bit. Yeah, so now we've got an issue here where... Got a little bit of an issue here because now I'm getting attacked all over the place. But I've also got to go ahead and clean up Orange. I just can't let Orange come back, so I got to let these guys do what they do, which is basically take all of this stuff, kill everybody over there. But this is a problem, too. Got rid of the, my elephant stable. Let's build another one, then. Anybody that can build, build that elephant stable. Build some more barracks. Build another stable. Alright, so, 
now I've got enough of an army, I should be able to do something about this guy. He's got people roaming all over the map here. And I'm afraid he's going to sneak around and get to my fields and kill all my women. I can't have that. Alright, is this cleanup about over? This cleanup looks like it's pretty much done. Still have a lot of people garrisoned. Can use some of these buildings I've captured now to train a few more troops just to get this army back up. I've got so much food and wood, I don't need most of these women anymore. Just gonna grab this group of 21 women, get rid of them. Same thing here, we got seven women here. Let's deposit the wood and then delete them. I've got so much wood. Let's get all of you up here. Except the women. Delete them to make more room. More room for elephants. Yeah, this... This guy is really contesting all of this. And then I still got the fight for the center of the map going on here. Alright, you guys. Got elephants that are just doing their own thing, which, heck, why not? Go ahead and take that tower down. Anybody garrison nope got a healer garrisoned got my hero garrisoned get more elephants queued up this guy kind of kicked my butt a little bit earlier but he's gonna be in trouble here in a minute because he's gonna be in between two of my my armies here so go ahead and get that that fortress destroyed. Get that tower destroyed. And this here. Man, I am losing on this side. I did not expect this. I might have to garrison this. I'm gonna garrison this civic center just to make sure I don't lose that. Got all the upgrades. I never got the will to fight upgrade. I need oh a lot of metal for that, but got so much food and wood. Let's get the will to fight upgrade from the fortress. Still need 200 metal. And now that's the last big upgrade there. I just slowly want to take this guy's territory here. Alright, I'm getting attacked by Orange because I left that army over here to do what it could do. It's no big deal. I still take the Civic Center if we can and that pretty much eliminates that guy. Now, let's go ahead, take the barracks, take away his ability to actually train folks. Let's 
get a siege workshop built. Alright, these guys did alright. Take care of that fortress. We're slowly getting rid of the various seven AI opponents, right? <laughs> Took a little while, but we, we got there. Get some more archers from that. And from that. Try some spearmen, maybe from this barracks. Let's see. Let's take that barracks over there. Just gonna slowly take all of his barracks and then really he can't do much. Alright, let's get some more calf spearmen out. Nice if I could build a civic center over here. That would really put pressure on all of those civs that I haven't wiped out just yet. I need some stone, but I can get stone pretty cheap right now. I'm gonna get the these guys to go and destroy whatever's over there. I'll get the elephants to go and destroy whatever is over here. Alright. I wonder if I should try to make a push here. This guy looks pretty strong, because this is going to be like a second civic center because it's toward the center of the map. So I bet this guy, he's in pretty good shape. But I'm going to go ahead and try to take it anyway. All of this over here is working pretty good. Let's take that tower. We're just slowly getting rid of things. Here is uh, a uh, civic center or military colony that's got to go for me to get rid of orange. You guys can go this direction. Just slowly but surely cleaning this up. So purple has lost everything. So who is left? If I click on this. Orange I'm cleaning up right now. Gray is this guy who is pretty much done. So really green and red. Red is the uh, center character here that it look strong, although I was able to push him back a little bit. I was able to push him back a little bit. I could build a civic center here in the center where he was at earlier with his civic center that I destroyed, which of course if I was going to build a civic center, why didn't I just capture his? But uh, elephants, they have a mind of their own. Sometimes they... You guys, oh. you guys are getting a little bit too frisky. So make sure all of my troops are okay. You guys did not finish the cleanup here. And it is going to take me a while here, but I have 
it is at the 50 minute mark of the game i am very confident that i've won the game at this point there is a civic center i need to take could i take it with just 37 units six of them are relevant so i probably could but it'd be tough i'll group up a few extra people Make it about 45 or 50 people, and then we'll be we'll be better on that. Uh, we've got this little outpost for Orange. That's how Orange is still surviving. So let's get the Rams to destroy some of this. I've got these guys <laughs> capturing stuff that doesn't matter, but hey, whatever. I'll just have these four archers that are off on their own just kill women. Just whoever they find, just attack them. Here we'll just slowly work our way through red. And now we've got 45 units here. Let's see if that is enough to take purple, the civic center here. Or that, not purple, uh. Gray. Well, let's take his barracks first because he took that back. I don't like the fact that he was able to get that back. I'm under attack from red. Let's go see how this is going up here. It's all right. But let's get our guys together. Make one more push here. Go ahead and train a ram. Have the ram take care of that fortress. Now, let's see if we can get that Civic Center. Because I still have the six elephants. The six elephants can destroy it. I'm going to try to capture it, though. I'm going to wait till the last second and pull the elephants off of it. This here took that one. And now we're just going to leave, leave this group here to wipe up the remaining people here this get the elephants off at the last second so maybe we capture it did we capture it we, I think we did yeah I did I can't garrison it because I've got to repair it a little bit before I can <laughs> garrison it but we did it get some more folks out I'm not going to bother repairing that civic center. I'll never need to garrison it. I think I think we've cleaned it up. I think I think there's nobody left. I think this opponent and Red were the last and Red just died because I killed all of his units and took all of his buildings. So let's keep the army going this way. And this army going the opposite direction, but they'll meet in the middle. And then Orange has survived with this little outpost here. But he won't last for very long. Got a ram here. Got a ram here. But really, I prefer the rams to take out the stuff that matters. They're kind of... But I won't defeat Orange that way. I have to have all these women die as well in the rams. I don't think we'll kill the women. So let's get s some other units over there that'll take care of that for me. I'm gonna cut this off at the uh, one hour mark, whether I win or lose, but I'm pretty sure I've, I've won. This is the last Civic Center to take. And then I would just spend probably another 10 minutes cleaning up like some of the random fortresses and barracks and st anything that can train units. Uh, any building that can train units until I take it, technically that person's not defeated. So I'd have to do some cleanup, but I have defeated the seven different AI opponents at this point because once I clean up that, he's gone, and once I kill these women here, which I'm having 
these units just go around and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and call that the game uh, they're still green as well alive somewhere on the map but green I can't remember who green was but it was one of the early civilizations that was taken out by somebody um, but he's probably got one building somewhere that can train like a market a random market or a tower uh, there's an orange tower that needs to go um, but at this point I have won the game so I'm gonna go ahead and resign even though I won let's go ahead and quit and view summary and see how we did our total score was much higher than the rest but that was because at the end I'm about the only one left many of these sieves you know half of them were dead halfway through the game so the real tell of the tape would be charts and total score and I am blue you can see up until about 15 minutes in the game it was all pretty close but then around the 18 to 20 minute mark is really where things started going well for me once I got the two opponents to each side of me out of the way you know it was it was smooth sailing at that point uh, at that point I really I'm not gonna say I couldn't lose but as long as I played defensively after I took out those two opponents you know and then just slowly built up right I got the civic centers the extra civic centers built I was always building extra barracks near those civic centers extra stables so I could quickly spawn out more cab units I probably built five or six different elephant stables I built three or four different siege workshops so that's how you know it's slow and steady typically uh, wins the race there especially in the late game a real easy way to lose a game of zero AD when you have it won and you sometimes you can throw it away by forcing things like when a an, an opponent is dug in He's got a civic center fully garrisoned. He's got a fortress right next to it fully garrisoned. A couple of towers nearby that are also garrisoned. And he's got all the upgrades. And then you throw a huge army at that thing thinking you're just going to force take it. right? And you can lose every single unit of yours trying to do that. So you have to be careful. You know, just take things slow. Just inch forward, inch forward. And when you're playing against real people in multiplayer games, especially when you find one of those players that slowly inches toward you you know just, he, he never does anything out of place right <laughs> Th those kinds of opponents are the worst ones to deal with so i hope you guys enjoyed uh this quick little look it's not a quick little look at zero ad it's about an hour long video at this point i may do some editing to kind of speed up the gameplay a little bit but anyway guys peace